What is up guys, it's Crandar here and we're back playing Alan Wake. This is going to be part 23. Uh, in the last part where we left off, we finished episode 4. So as soon as we click continue game here, it's, the game is going to give us a short recap. And then we'll be able to jump straight into the action. Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. The clicker. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh. Oh, it's in the light. Hello. Hello. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, Al. Al, this is not good. That about sums it up. Oh, I am never drinking again. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck here. Right, They're not yeah, gonna... Even interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get... Get back in the cell, Stephen King! The, the only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh my god! Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh, oh man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Ooh, my Stay pages. cool. I can get the emergency power on. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It the wasn't fuck? the booze that made his mind real. <laughs> what, he took out... what the... ah, oh, never mind. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. I guess, I guess we can say goodbye to uh, Agent Nightingale then, I suppose. 
Although I really, really hope he becomes one of the Taken and I get to shoot him in the face. Because he's been a bit of a douche this entire time. There we go. Here are your things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. And I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Come on. Let's get back to your friend. We're loading up. On Wheeler, I need you to stay here. What? No. We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list. Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? <laughs> Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me, though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? <laughs> go on, open the door. Oh, hell. Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. Oh. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? <laughs> okay. Hmm. This is all decent. Batteries. There we go, there's the uh there's the ladder. Deerfest float seems to be ready. There seems to be large amounts of ectoplasm on the roof. you get an achievement for like dispersing enough of these. I don't know if it's true. But we will pick up those flares, however. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? I need to keep checking the map, find a way to reach the street level. Well, game, how do you propose we do that exactly? Starting to make perfect sense. Find a way to reach street level by climbing yet even higher than you were before. The good thing about this game is at least it has. Oh, jeez. At least it has checkpoints. Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Frank falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. You need
need to bypass the damaged control box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on! Of course you are. You're a superhero. As hero of the story, you are tasked with knowing every... I like how it's just like, press E to bypass the gate controls. Of course, because all it takes is one button press. Okay, fine. One button press and a couple of clicks. That's smart. Good job, Wade. Okay, stick with it. The keys to the chopper are there. Come on, Sheriff, take him out. There we go. Why waste ammo when you have a Sheriff with seemingly unlimited ammunition? There's a supply box. Over there. You can do that. You can do that just fine, Sheriff, by yourself. Alright, fine, I'll help you out. So after the Dark Spirit possessed Bambi... Over there. Come on, Sheriff, where we're going. Where's the chopper? And I thought New Yorkers were rude. <laughs> but they are rude. New Yorkers are definitely rude. Just saying. Not too caught up in the, the, the chase of... Data you have the right to Teamwork, guys. Teamwork. That's what it's about. Teamwork. Uh, 
have yet to see a chopper. Are we going to cross the entire, like, town? What is going on here? Uh-oh. Wake! Over here! There's light! I don't want light, I want a chopper. Watch my back, wait. <laughs> Watch how like 15 of them spawn now. It's an ambush. Of course it is. <laughs> God forbid. says something like watch my back and it's, not, and it's not an ambush you know like you don't have to watch their back Down, buddy. Don't mess with Sheriff Breaker, nah. <laughs> Let's go, wait. <laughs> and of course, opening the door after the whole ambush thing is just as simple as waving your hand. Ah, video games. <laughs> How you fail to grasp reality. <laughs> Okay, someone's messed with the fuse box here, but you should be able to jury rig it while I find the keys. I already got electrocuted once today. How about I look for the keys and you get burned for a change? Fine. They should be in the clerk's office on the other side of the building near the main entrance. Gotcha. Helen Wake, the electrician, forget about the writer. <laughs> All right, let's see what this manuscript page is about. The darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's face was furious. The story in the manuscript had been making it stronger all the time, but now the light had set the writer free and hurt it, weakened it. It was only a matter of days before the dark presence would be strong again, but meanwhile, it would be difficult to recapture the writer. Recapturing the writer, eh? I bet you it's Barry. The message was from Barry. Ah. He was getting worried at the station. He wanted us to hurry. Where the hell are we going? Let's go up. The keys aren't upstairs, Wake. I'm just going to take a quick look. Oh, okay, let's go take a quick look. Nothing of interest. Of course, there's nothing of interest the one time I decide to look upstairs. Oh, wait, there's an arrow. Which means... There's a guy with... Hello. Yes, flare gun. Flares. It's precisely what we need, just in case there's a, an emergency. We can just shoot one off of the flare gun and it'll destroy everything. And it's bad. Hunting 
rifle. Come on. There we go. That's he's done. Although this just has to be said about America casually, there's a hunting rifle with hunting rifle ammunition on, on a on a clerk's desk, because you know. It's America. It's all about the Second Amendment, right? Um, oh yes, beastly lantern, beastly flash fangs, and the helicopter. Key. Okay, Sheriff, I got the keys. Barry? Why isn't he inside? Maybe because, oh God. Maybe because he's oh sprinting God. as fast as he can. Oh. Run, Barry. Run, Forrest. Run. Barry, look out! Barry, move! Ah! Whoa. Whoa. Barry! He made it inside, Wake. He's okay. But he's not coming out, is he? The storefront's blocked. Come on, Wake. Let's go around. We can meet him in the back. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it now for part 23. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't already to see more of this playthrough and of my Dark Souls 2 playthrough, which will be coming soon. will be continuing soon, rather. Uh, and future playthroughs later on. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Link to that will be down below in the description. As always, guys, I will see all of you in the next part.